am I? I am God's Son, complete and healed and whole, shining in the reflection of His love. In me is His creation sanctified and guaranteed eternal life. In me is love perfected, fear impossible, and joy established without opposite. I am the holy home of God Himself. I am the heaven where His love resides. I am His holy sinlessness itself, for in my purity abides His own. Our use for words is almost over now. Yet in the final days of this one year we gave to God together, you and I, we found a single purpose that we shared. And thus you joined with me. So what I am are you as well. The truth of what we are is not for words to speak of nor describe. Yet we can realize our function here, and words can speak of this and teach it too, if we exemplify the words in us. We are the bringers of salvation. We accept our part as saviors of the world, which through our joint forgiveness is redeemed. And this, our gift, is therefore given us. We look on everyone as brothers and perceive all things as kindly and as good. We do not seek a function that is past the gates of heaven. Knowledge will return when we have done our part. We are concerned only with giving welcome to the truth. Ours are the eyes through which Christ's vision sees a world redeemed from every thought of sin. Ours are the ears which hear the voice of God proclaim the world as sinless. Ours the minds which join together as we bless the world. And from the oneness that we have attained, we call to all our brothers asking them to share our peace and consummate our joy. We are the holy messengers of God who speak for Him and carrying His word to everyone who He has sent to us. We learn that it is written in our hearts and thus our minds are changed about the aim for which we came and which we seek to serve. We bring glad tidings to the Son of God who thought He suffered. Now is He redeemed. And as He sees the gate of heaven stand open before Him, He will enter in and disappear into the heart of God.